Besides today's 10-year uh, anniversary, we're, we're obviously here because of a very big day in court. And Joe mentioned a little bit about some of the good news that came, came out, of, out of the hearing today. And while Joe uh, has, uh, has been articulating the experience that the patients have been having, the reality is that we wouldn't be in court today if we didn't have brave individuals that were willing in a time of prohibition to stand up and say, I am a medical cannabis patient and I am being harmed by these issues. And so I would like to invite to the, the stage uh, Bill Britz, Michael Krawitz, and Kathy Jordan. say cannabis is a crutch and I tend to agree with them you know crutches are wonderful things uh, they help me get around they ease my pain they give me confidence to go out there and live uh, and live my life uh, on my own uh, I just want to say about Asa you know I've been in this movement for 15 years and I've seen a lot of organizations and I've seen a lot of people come and go and it's always been so disjointed you know, our opposition, the people against us who hate the cannabis or with, with a passion are unified against us, unified. But this movement has been so disjointed and so fractionated. And ASA has been like a, a blessing. It's just ASA has been, you know, has been there, uh, consistent. There is no organization that I hold as much respect for. There is nobody I hold as much respect for as Steph and the work that you've done. So this award means so much to me and I want to thank you. I think you guys heard a little bit about this gentleman today, Michael Crowitz. Give us a little. <laughs> thank you. I, uh, I'm unusually at a loss for words. <laughs> Everyone I take a picture. <laughs> you won't see this again. Yeah. Yeah, my, don't tell my wife. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, this really does mean a lot to me. Uh, the, the work that I've done, you know, a lot of it is somewhat in obscurity. <laughs> and uh, every once in a while I come out and, and face the light of day and, and meet with y'all. And I'm really proud to, to stand by your side. So thank you so much and uh, thank you for this. Do you want me to? Okay. Um, may, may I raise my hand? Where's your chair? Do you want to change? Do you want to hold this? No. There you go. There you go. Here's the camera. I'm really surprised. Um, I did not think that there would be an um, an award involved. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting stuff in Catherine Harrison's office <laughs> in Florida after the 2000 election where she first started. Um, her and I sat in there and she was just amazed and I was not afraid of anyone in the office. But of course, I take on the wildest by the dozens. I enjoy going in and asking the wildest um, how what they know about the endocannabinoid system. 
and they do not know nothing. <laughs> So now when they think they're so blind. Uh, so I have gone from being one chance and a thousand that cannabis stopped my ALS. Yes. And now it's like more like one in ten. So I have come a long way. I have been totally ill so long that this um, five years ago. I got a letter, I had a crew, I was alive. <laughs> I love it. And I lived my exploration there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, this is the honor that I will be able to look at and see and thank your stuff. And thank Asa. Love you. Oh. Thank you.